welcome back. Well, Common Ground, it's a group of uh, ladies, right? Mm -hmm. And they go around and they really are, their main goal is to educate consumers, especially those of us who go through a grocery store. We want to know where our food comes from. We want to know if it's safe. And with us here, Leslie's joining us here. And you uh, grew up a very big hog operation, right? An operation mm -hmm. that's been in business for a long time. My family's farm was founded in, in 1895, 117 years ago, mm -hmm. at Dewitt, Nebraska, and we have been in the hog business ever since. Uh, we sell breeding stock primarily, and it's sold all over the world. And what's one thing that's really been in the news lately, and we do have a report on it, you can check on our website, Nebraska.tv, about the HSUS and pork being in McDonald's trying to limit mm -hmm. the pork production that uses gestational stalls and when we say gestational stalls like those who are involved in farms directly or somewhat directly might know what those are but consumers might not know so then there's this kind of a little bit of a panic here okay what's a gestation stall a gestation stall would be basically the same as a fallowing stall so you, when you're talking about one you can describe both mm -hmm. they are a small area that the sows are kept in during their gestational period and then after they have their pigs and they are used to limit their mobility but the reason for that is because sows can be very aggressive mm -hmm. and they can be very aggressive with other animals in their same pens if they were held in a big pen with others and they can be very aggressive to the people that are taking care of them and they can also be very aggressive towards their little ones. So it's a safety concern for the whole herd really. It is. Really, it is. And it it's is. not like they're in that one stall their whole life. No, 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 no. They, uh, they are not kept in there. They can be kept in groups. A lot of them are depending on the type of facility that they're raised in. Mm -hmm. they, uh, they are put in these stalls mostly during gestation to protect themselves and to protect the other animals, especially during the early part of their gestation where they are more susceptible to injuries and to aggressive behaviors. Mm -hmm. So there's reasons for the way we treat our animals and it's for safety concerns and for their health. Yes. And it's not something that we just do for conveniences they may exactly. portray. Exactly. And one thing that you probably, you, you guys, you were raised among the animals. Mm -hmm. It's your goal. You, when you lose one, you know it, it's, it's almost heartbreaking sometimes when you're younger, right? But then it as is. a producer, it's not like your goal is to harm any animal that you have, right? No, heavens no. We do everything that we can to make them comfortable mm -hmm. and a, well-fed, good ventilation, clean water. We do everything we can to protect those animals and to raise them in a sound environment because if we're not taking care of them, then they're not doing what they need to do for us. So we right. have to, I mean, it's, it's a give and take, but every mm -hmm. farmer cares about their animals. Right. And that just, you can't get away from that. Mm -hmm. When you're a true farmer, you care. Yes, exactly. And you wanted to mention too, as far as as uh, hog productions over the over the years, they've changed so much. Uh, what do you, you do? You see it going when it, the improvements as something better as as they move forward in the industry? Oh, absolutely. Back uh, many many years ago, lard was a huge industry. Mm -hmm. And now they have, through selective breeding and through testing, such as weighing the pigs at various stages and testing for back pat and using an ultrasound for, for loins and that, they have developed a much leaner meat, uh, more productive animals, faster growing, and it's all been through this genetics, genetic selection. Mm -hmm. It's not modified, but it's selective breeding. Mm -hmm. And they have made tremendous strides in the quality of the meat, in the leanness of the meat, and the usefulness of the cuts. So it's healthy too, healthier probably than it has been in the past. Thank you so much, Leslie, for coming in and sharing some information with us. If you have questions, find our Common Ground. That's a site you can go to, but we'll have links as well at Nebraska.tv. Check it out. We'll be back.